Eventually, after friending all the people inside the IT department, I started friending people in the security department. In the moment, the director of Yahoo Security friended me on that fake account. They got a wall of text saying, this is who I am. This is why I'm in communication with you. There is no phone number I can use to call you, so this is how I've gotten in front of you. I gave him all my contact information, and they called me. Uh, admittedly saying that they were very, very suspect and was assuming everything I was going to say was a lie. Uh, so we had a little bit of conversation, and I explained to him the customer's problem, so on and so forth. Eventually, the two of us discovered that in Yahoo's mergers and acquisitions, a particular database was flagged as needing two-factor authentication, except all of the people in that database were older. They didn't have a cell phone. So there was no text message that their landline would have ever gotten. We fixed 145,000 accounts that day. I gave the LinkedIn account to the Yahoo employee, Yahoo employee, and got that all taken care of. But social engineering, when used nefariously, can be highly damaging to your organization.